goblins, geekums. All right, you saw the title of the video. Let's jump right in there, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? So the reason why I'm actually posting this video is because I saw the uh, pool portal video was posted to Reddit. I started reading the comments and was cracking up because people are arguing how it was made. Oh, oh so this person says, uh, my guess it's a green screen and the splash is CGI. I don't know if this comment is legit or if it's a joke, but if it's not a joke, I mean, it's the best compliment anyone could give you. I don't know. I love it. So this is me showing you exactly what I did. So here's the actual shot we ended up doing. This is like the original film of it. Smegik Smilbash. He crushed it, he crushed the reverse. So I told him after he jumped in, I needed him to stay down there for a few seconds. Perfect. Nice. All right, now we're going- Yeah, so this is just me explaining like, you know, you can be animated on this side because he's gonna be much smaller in the screen. So the, the important part of this is that he does a pencil because I felt like it would be more seamless. Welcome to- And once again, I told him to stay down there as long as he could. That way you couldn't see him. See how right now you can't really tell that he's down there and now he's swimming back up. This is it was just so funny. Perfect, perfect, that was excellent. All right, so now we're in After Effects. I'm just gonna drag this clip into a new composition. Okay, so we need to grab the two points of entry. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll cut that. So I'm cutting that by pressing Command-Shift-D. That's a shortcut in After Effects to, to cut it there. Welcome to! All right, so we know that's where he goes in. Yeah, we're ready, we're shooting. All right, so let's cut there. Get rid of this middle clip. All right, so that's gonna be basically, this is this first part, since this is the intro, this is gonna be the master clip. And by the master clip, I'm saying like, we're gonna use that primarily for the background of the entire video. Let's go ahead and make our timeline a little smaller because it's, it's quite large right now. So we can zoom in. Okay, go ahead and bring this clip up. And if you right click, you can go through to time and reverse the layer. I'm not gonna go through like the audio of it because it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm actually gonna turn the audio off so we don't have to keep listening to it over and over. I like how it looks right at like the pinnacle right there. All right, so I'm gonna trim that out. All right, and so now what, we're, what I'm doing is I'm timing up when he comes in because I basically want the pool to be the portal that sends him to the other side. So right as he goes in, I want him to be coming out at the same time. And this is all about timing. So once he's his body's completely in, you can't see it anymore, that's when I'm gonna have him coming out right there. That looks about good to me. Okay, so now the main objective is to mask him out right here. So I'm just gonna grab the pen tool. I'm just gonna draw a very rough, quick mask if you press M on the keyboard, it brings up your mask path in the timeline. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, press on the stopwatch. That way we add a keyframe. I'm just doing page up on the keyboard. I'm gonna try and keep this as close to him as I possibly can. So this may take a second, but um, this is the important part. You want to get the, the mask as close to him as you can. That way you're not affecting as much of the background. But also keep in mind, you don't want this perfectly on him because we're gonna be feathering this. And feathering means like you're you're blending it. You, you don't want it to be too close to them because if you feather it, then it will, it'll feather out his skin, which we don't want him to be touched. All right, so let's just keep going. All right, so again, this mask is not perfect by any means. In the beginning, I'm trying to keep uh, the splash in as much as I can on the front end, and as he comes out, it obviously gets closer to his body because we want to reveal this back layer where he's initially jumped in. And that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good for right now. Okay, so now the next step, now that we've done that rough mask, as you can see on the outer edges right here, it's not blended in very well. So if we press F on our keyboard, I'm just gonna set this something I'm gonna get back to where it's closer to his body and I want to feather it out as much as I can without affecting him too much 
All right, now to blend this even further, let's go ahead and watch this from the beginning. All right, he's about to jump in. Okay, so now we wanna blend this part in to the original video. I mean, this is really the simple part. You just do a simple cross dissolve. So I'm pressing T on the keyboard uh, for my opacity. I'm gonna set it there at 100% and then go up to the beginning of the clip and set it to zero. Let's see how that looks. There we go. The other thing I did was I added in, I call it lumetri, 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 lumetri. I've heard people say different things. I don't know what it is. Uh, I just came in here and I've just lowered the shadows a little bit. See that matches the, that matches the sky. It affects him a little bit, but I'm okay with that. I really want that sky to be matched. Let's see how that looks. I mean, that's almost, I mean, that's pretty good. So yeah, guys, that's that's the whole tutorial. Um, I'm gonna try and start making more of these and also incorporating them more into the videos. I have like six different ideas for the next Jablinski game. So whether or not we get to film that, we'll see. Yeah, anyways, this video is sponsored by LaCroix. Just kidding, but if you wanna sponsor me. I love your products. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions. I'll try to answer anything that I haven't covered here. I don't know how to end the video, so I'm just gonna physically leave because I think that makes the most sense. Okay, see you guys.